Thanks, Sean. Go ahead. I'm Bobby from The Post. Uh, despite the losses, do you guys think the team is improving at all? You had a lead at halftime. Do you think um, you're getting closer to winning games? Yeah, I yeah I think uh, out of every loss we've experienced this year, we we're obviously right there. We just try to take take whatever it is, you know, mistakes made and move forward. The next day, we got to move on and focus on the next game. So I yeah I think we're getting better. We're right there. Um, it's hard to you know we lose somebody every week, so we're just trying to get that chemistry back every week and just yeah play together and figure it out together. So. Jack Dudler with WOUB. You guys started great shooting uh, from beyond the arc to start the game in the first half. Things sort of just start to fall off in the second half. What was Coach's message to you guys in the huddle, uh, especially when you know shots weren't falling down for you, especially in that second half? I think uh, Coach Bob just emphasizes tempo when we get kind of in slumps like that. Um, which you guys probably saw the first half, we're moving the ball. It's fast. We're moving fast. Uh, that's when, that's when you know, we catch the defense. They, you know, they're going to shake. So I think we do it to ourselves sometimes, just letting, letting our tempo slow up. Um, but yeah, that's, that's usually what he's saying. Just keep up the tempo and get the ball moving. This is a uh, Yeah, just with the post. So you're kind of talking about tempo. So, and like kind of the injuries, did that really, like only dressing nine, did that really have an effect in the second half? Because it kind of felt like a difference in energy maybe from the first to the second half. Yeah, there's definitely a difference in energy. Um, I think we just, we do a good job of staying up in the first half and keeping a good tempo. Um, but it seems like kind of when we're not hitting shots, uh, like everything starts trickling down, like body language, um, our energy just all around, like from the bench to the court also. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's different when we're playing and we feel like everybody has good energy. It's very effective. So when we see our other teammates kind of like getting down on themselves or each other, it just affects everyone else. It's like a domino effect. Well, T and T to add, we got to, we got to fight through that fatigue. We're, you know, five games in conference. So, uh, it's just, it's just a mental battle, really. We we have who we have, you know. Every night we got to play with who we have and um, come together and fight through that fatigue. You know, we all know what's expected. Play at that high level, so we gotta, we just gotta do it for four quarters, and yeah, that's that'll get the job done. So. One last question. Are we good? All right, you guys are good. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Uh, Eli Justice with the post. Um, do you mind talking a little bit about kind of how the balance scoring helped out a little bit more? It seems like, especially in the first half, like everybody was getting a bucket. You might talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I'd love to. I, we had, um, we were pretty sure they were going to play zone. Um, and we, we had a thought, we had a pretty good plan to how to attack it. Um, and we've always been better when we move the ball. And we had 12 baskets in the first half, and we had 11 assists. And I just thought we did a really nice job of moving the basketball. And um, I thought our tempo was good. I thought our pace was good. I thought the ball moved. Um, and I thought our players did a really nice job of sharing the ball. And um, just their intention, the way, they, the way they played, I thought they were very intentional offensively and, and made some really good decisions. Yes. Jack Denver with WEB. Western, offensively speaking, whenever they got a rebound, they really pushed the floor. Uh, from a defensive standpoint, how do you tell your team to prepare for the amount of the tempo that Western's trying to control, getting, getting from one side to the floor to the other in such a quick amount of time? Yeah, I think it's tricky because Saxman, their point guard, does a good job of pushing the ball. Um, and then conversely, Williams, their five player, also does a good job of pushing the ball, which you don't see often. Um, and I thought our kids did a really nice job. Um, you know, Yaya spent a majority of the night, and her responsibility was to stop the basketball. And I thought she did a good job of discerning who had the ball um, and trying to slow it down and gave us a chance to, uh, gave us a chance to match up. You know, they, they, they got six fast break points. Um, two of them, two of those layups were on, on t bad turnover, what I would say bad turnover, where they just had uncontested layups. Um, so other than that, I thought they did a nice job of getting back and finding people and, and, and communicating and getting people guarded. And, and it started with Yaya stopping the ball and slowing it down at least a little bit. I'm 
Bobby Warbeck from the Post. Um, it seemed like they made a lot of deep threes. Uh, how did their range kind of affect how difficult it was to guard them? And how did it kind of like create space for the rest of their offense? Yeah, they, they, they certainly used the whole floor. Um, you know, and they were, um, you know, they moved so well without the basketball. Um, Ross demands a lot of attention. Williams demands a lot of attention. And then they are, have the ability to shoot some deep threes. And, and you know, I thought we did a I thought we did a good job of guarding. Um, you know, you look back, you wish maybe we could have finished a couple of possessions a little bit better, but we got them late in the clock a number of times. Um, I thought the the effort and the energy was there. I just thought at times that, you know, they were just a little bit better offensively than we were defensively. You know, and to your point, they made some threes where we got them off the line and then they still made them. And that, that's kind of the way the game works sometimes. The WAB, Jack Demmer, uh, you guys shot well to start the game, but sort of in that second half, especially in the third quarter, shots just weren't falling. Is that a result of fatigue from one half to the other? Um, you know, I, I thought we had a little bit of trouble reversing the basketball in the second half, and um, we just kind of got out of sync at the beginning of the third quarter, and, and, and we didn't really get back into it. and. Um, you know, I think we, we should have done a better job of moving some of our players around and getting them the ball in different spots. And I thought to start, to start the fourth quarter, we were able to do that. And then the ball started moving again, and, and we scored it pretty well in the fourth quarter. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the stops we needed in the fourth quarter. Um, we were just a little bit too stagnant to start the third quarter. Um, you know, why that is, I, I don't know. But, um, you yeah, know, I think... I think my job is to make sure that I get people where they can succeed. And, and I thought we did that later, just didn't do it soon enough. Yeah, just as with the post, um, kind of talking about the second half a little bit more. It seems like the third quarter, uh, officials might have been letting up play. Fourth quarter was kind of the exact opposite. Do you think that kind of hurt the flow offensively and defensively? Or do you think yeah, I mean, the beginning of the third, floor, it was, third quarter was just weird. There was a lot of turnovers, and it seemed like, it, it, it seemed like there was a lot of contact. I don't know on any of those plays who was in position and who wasn't. You know, I think there were times that we were kind of out of position, running into people that weren't in position, and the ball was kind of bouncing around, and it was just kind of sloppy on, on both ends. Um, and I think at, at the media, I think the score was 5-2 to two or something like that. So there, was, there were plenty of empty possessions um, in the third quarter, um, which is certainly – you know, we got to do a better job and, and take advantage of what we were defensively. I thought we did a good job, but we just couldn't quite get the ball moving and had a few too many turnovers. And, you know, you got to get shots when you have the basketball, right? You can't afford to turn it over. And, and, and we need to just do a little bit better job of that and get ourselves a few more shots and give us a chance. All right. Thank you, everyone.